This will be the first year that Nashua has had a full mosquito control program, and but we're looking um, at areas that are high use, such as parks and schools, so that we can assess the risk in those areas for the people that use the, the fields. And those mosquitoes are going to be tested. Um, we sort them to species, Aquarotatus solicitans, Aquarotatus tenurincus, Anopheles punctipennis, Absaratus, um, Aquarotatus cantator. Oh, it goes on and on. And on. We, we choose the sites where we're going to trap the mosquitoes, and we, what we call, process the mosquitoes. So we um, bring them back here to the lab, kill them, uh, sort them, identify them to species, pull them into tubes that the state will then use uh, for their testing. Well, there's certain characteristics that you look for for a mosquito. One of the most outstanding is their proboscis. It's their mouth part. Uh -huh. It sticks way out. So you look for that when you look under the microscope. And um, then you look for different places on the body, the thorax or the abdomen or the legs. We have certain uh, nicknames for them, like Vexans is the tuxedo mosquito. It looks like it's black and white. Later on in the season, the salt marsh mosquitoes will come out. Those are the solicitans, and they have a white stripe on their proboscis, and they're really easy to identify. Of course, you know, I went to school for entomology, so it's, it's easier for me because I can look at, you know, the thorax or the abdomen. But over the last 10 years, we have seen this uh, emergency of uh, West Nile as one of those diseases, and somehow a kind of a resurgence of diseases like triple E, Eastern Equine Encephalitis. Uh, West Nile virus most of the time don't cause severe illness. We only react to the really bad, bad, bad outcomes. We encourage people to go out, exercise, keep active. That's the best thing that we can do for us uh, as, as a nation, because it's what's going to kill us is obesity and lack of exercise, not West Nile. Don't think that you have a high chance and risk of dying and don't panic every time that you get a mosquito bite. It, it doesn't make any sense.